Should, should, should I, am I ready? Uh, am I good to go here? Come on. Okay. So, yeah, Yera Eve Granoff was born on April 21st, 2003 in Columbia Hospital in New York City. And she was named the following Shabbat at KOE. And she moved when she was two weeks old to New Jersey to the house that you guys know. And she moved when she was nine years old to ten years old. She's 11 now, Robbie. She was 10. Okay, she was 10 when we moved here to Renata. When Yaira was little, she was the first grandchild from both sides. And wherever we went, everyone would come. Two parents, four aunts, and four grandparents, always looking after one baby. Isn't she the smartest? Isn't she the cutest? Isn't she the prettiest little baby there ever was? Each one of us would say it every single day. The one thing that everyone who knows Yaira knows is what is Yaira's favorite activity? Avi, what is Yaira's favorite activity? Reading. That's right. And does she read in the living room? Yes. Does she read in her bedroom? Yes. Does she read uh, in the car? Yes. Does she read walking down the street? Yes. Where else does she read, Rafi? The bathroom when there's no light. Anywhere she is, whether she's sitting, standing, in any position, at the dinner table. Except the times when the book goes away. What happens when the book goes away, Abby? There's loud screams. <laughs> hey, that's my only sister. And she always helps me with every subject I need to learn. Sometimes my brothers forget me at school, but Yaira never forgets me. Whenever we're skiing with Yaira, Yaira is always by my side to pick up a fallen ski when my gloves fall off right behind me, following behind my little path. If she's not, I know that she's not skiing. Last year, Yaira decided that she was going to cut her hair and donate it to children that are undergoing cancer and chemotherapy treatments. We went to the hairdresser and Yaira told the lady she wanted to cut off 12 inches so that she could donate her hair. And the hairdresser was very concerned. She said, your hair will be too short. And Yaira said, don't worry, it will grow. And the lady was like, no, maybe it's not a good idea. Why don't you wait a few months? And Yaira's like, no, we're here. It's better, you're going to cut my hair now. Then another lady in the hairdresser said to me, Ima, why are you doing this to your daughter? Don't force her to cut off her hair. And Yaira just stood up and said, I want to cut my hair and I don't care if it's short. And then finally, they cut her hair and she looked so cute. It's 153 likes on Facebook. I wish Yaira will do great in schools, get into good colleges, and be, be an amazing author or translator. Why translator? Never mind, never mind. Two years ago, we moved to Israel. Last year, we went on a safari. We traveled to Europe. And next year, we hope that you will... Travel to the moon. Be the first bat mitzvah girl to travel to the moon. Or the first person to travel to Mars. Either one does. Mazel tov, Yura, and I'm so lucky to be your little brother.